Hey fun, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. We are long overdue for a puzzle haul and I originally thought I wasn't going to have many to share with you since in January I wanted to go on a low buy, kind of reduce my spending and be a little bit more mindful. And then it happened, you know, I wanted to get some new puzzles. So here we are with a puzzle haul. Some things are PR, things that I got from brands. Some things I got from Amazon, but I'll discuss that in just a second. And then some things I got from the puzzle library that's near me, so I'm just borrowing them. But I thought I would just share them with you in this video so you guys can see all the puzzles that are at my disposal at this moment. So we are going to get into this. I hope you enjoy this video. And if you like puzzle hauls, I have a whole dedicated playlist that I'll link down below or up in the cards. But we are just going to get into this. If you are new here, hello and welcome. I hope you like this video and subscribe to this channel. And we're just gonna get started. Let's start off with the things that I got from Amazon. I just wanna talk about this just a little bit because when you guys are using my links for my videos, whenever I'm talking about something and you purchase something through the Amazon links, it does give me a little bit of commission and I use that for gift cards to buy more puzzles. So if ever you're curious of where that money goes, this is what I use it for. And so this part of the video, all these puzzles I got from Amazon, were because you guys used my links and bought things because I recommended them, which I think is super cool. So thank you so much for supporting my channel. I wanted to share with you the puzzles that I ended up going with and I'm so excited for them. So let's just first start off with these guys. So I recently did a puzzle with me. It was a small 300 piece by Ravensburger. And one thing that I loved about it is that it was a 300 piece, but it was the normal standard size pieces, which for me right now, as I'm training for nationals, I wanted to get in the habit of using those smaller pieces. And sometimes I wanna do it in a smaller piece count. So I love the fact that I was able to find these guys. They have a whole bunch of different images. So I got two more of that style after I did that video. They are super cute. Normally not my normal thing, but I feel like it's very like bright and vibrant. And I feel like the style that a lot of different competition puzzles are. So the first one I have, it's from their Puzzle Moments line, just so you know. Um, so it both, both of them are from their Puzzle Moments line. This first one is just called Flowers, but if you look inside, it's like flowers with a bunch of animals mixed in. So we have a snake, we have a cheetah, we have some butterflies and birds. Very bright, very colorful, very springy. And I thought this would be a really fun one to do. And then the other one that I got, also very spring-like, and this one, again, from the Puzzle Moment line, and it's just called Hummingbird. And this one is very bright, looks a little bit trickier because you don't have a huge color palette to work with. I got these to help me with my speed puzzling, but also I like the size of piece count and sometimes it's nice to just do like a small compact puzzle versus using those large jumbo size pieces. So I'm excited for them. It's definitely a line that I'm like looking into because I do my 300 pieces quite often and I think these are ones that I'll probably redo again in the future. Moving on to this one here, um, recently I did a pin to puzzle that was called Old Town, oh I forgot the town's name, but uh, I will put it on the screen or put it down below uh, which one I'm talking about, but I love the idea of having like a black and white photograph puzzle but with a pop of color. I've done quite a few already. I've done one that was an Audrey Hepburn puzzle that was all black and white with like a little bit of pink. I've done several that were like black and white with a bicycle. Um, this time around I got this one here. It's by Pintu and it's called Yellow Trams in Lisbon. And so again, very similar style. We just have a black and white photograph style image and then we just have these yellow trams going down the center. So I think this will be a really fun one. I thought framing both of them, so I have the Old Town one and I have this one, very similar styles. I think I do have two frames for Pintu that are for the 500 pieces, so I think it'd be fun to like have them together as like a little series. So I got this one also because I really like that first one. It really wasn't very difficult, especially with like the cobblestone. There's a lot of gradient to it and texture to it. And even though it's black and white, there's still lots to work from. So I'm excited for this one. Moving on to, uh, it was so hard to decide. So I really wanted to get another Ellen Essex puzzle. I have a couple that I haven't done yet, but I feel like I keep seeing 
her stuff on my Instagram all the time and all of her new stuff. So I finally got another one and I will say it was hard to decide which one I wanted, but I ended up going with Fig Tree. It's a thousand pieces and it's just bright and colorful, lots of color. Like it's kind of crazy and chaotic. It's definitely going to be a more challenging one. She usually does a lot of more streamlined coloring or often some like radiant coloring. This one is kind of just a mixture or a hodgepodge. Maybe you do have a little bit more blue over here than over here, but in general, the colors are just kind of mixed and you have to go, I would say by pattern, like the leaves have different patterns versus the birds versus the figs. So I think that's how I would go with this one. But I also got it because we used to have a giant fig tree in our or at our house in Temecula. And this one just like, made me think of it, so that's why I got it. Um, I just think it's super bright and very colorful. Again, I'm thinking spring and fun colors. This one looks very, I feel like for me it's going to be a little bit challenging, but I do think it's going to be a fun one. Moving on to these two, so the last two from the Amazon haul. This one here is a 300 piece by Ravensburger, and this one I also have in a 1000 piece. I haven't done it yet just because it's a little bit intimidating in the 1,000 piece. It's also the smaller box of 1,000 piece. I don't know if that makes much of a difference, but um, this one here is called Cozy Retreat, right? If you haven't seen this line yet, they're just like warm and comforting and just casual, nothing super serious, nothing super busy, um, pretty easy images. And this one looks like such a wonderful night in. Like I feel like every time I see one of these, I just want to be the person in the puzzle. So this one here, we have a cat on the lap with a hot coffee. Um, they are reading a book. They have candles. They have scones. They have tea. Oh, it must be a tea. This is a tea kettle. Um, and then they're like looking out into this beautiful like wilderness and there's a nice fireplace going. Like everything about this, I just want to be this person in it. And I think that's the appeal of these images. I've done three or four so far from this line. Very excited to do this one. And I'm excited to do it in the smaller piece count before going into that larger piece count. Even though I know it's going to be a really good time doing it in the 1000 piece, there's just something about doing these puzzles in a smaller piece count that also appeals to me. So I'm excited for this one. I think it's going to be really just a good night in with like a hot chocolate or something. And this one has to be my most recommended puzzle that I've ever gotten in a video. So when I did my top 10 for the year video, my recommendations, um, a lot of you recommended this puzzle and said this was your favorite of the year. So I of course had to jump on this train and do it. So this one is from Magic Puzzle Company. They are the one that won my video from the year. So 2023, I'd done the Mystic Maze puzzle from them. Absolutely loved it. And so I decided to get the Secret Soup, which a lot of you recommended. So I'm very excited about it. Definitely has some winter aspects, but a little bit of, a, I'm just trying to see other aspects to it. But there's some winter, there's a little bit of like witches and such. I'm not quite sure what the style is, but I think it's going to be a fun one. It does have a little mystery behind it, a little secret at the end. Looks like there's a bunch of Easter eggs and there's a little bit of a, like a seek and find element to it. So I think this one is going to be super fun. I feel like this one's going to be a little bit easier than Mystic Mage just because palette wise, like coloring, there's a lot more variation. So I think this one is going to be really fun. I'm excited that you guys recommended it. Moving on to, we'll just do these two here. These ones were sent to me by the brand, um, and that is Cloudberries. It's been quite a bit since I've done a Cloudberries puzzle. I will say I've given them very mixed reviews in the past. I like their images. Sometimes their quality can be hit or miss. I have definitely have run into some crumbliness. Um, as far as coloring though, I've always loved their coloring. I love the matte pieces. And again, I like their images, but I definitely have run into some things in the past. They sent me two more to look at and try out. Um, one is from their new smaller line, so I'm excited to try that one. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but they first sent me over Canvas, which is a 1000 piece. I just love this image. Um, so there's just like a lot of different variations of like a gradient something. So we have like this gradient triangle with like the primary colors. We have a sphere here, a couple of them, one light, one dark. We have just like a gradient rainbow strip right here. Um, just a gradient rainbow swirl. Like I feel like it's going to be a pretty easy puzzle. So if there is some more crumbly bits, I don't think it'll be very tricky, except for like the white areas that are kind of like mixed in around. But even then, it's a lot of variation in the, the gradient around those like 
big pieces. So I think it's going to be a very doable puzzle, but I was really interested in trying their new small batch line because they use, I want to say a different manufacturer. Um, and so I've heard much better things about this line versus their original one, which does seem to be in a few different manufacturers. So depending which one you get, you might have a really great puzzle. You might have one that's like a little bit off. So I'm excited to try this one here. This one is called Cherries. I think this image is so fun. Very bright, very colorful, definitely up my alley. We just have like cherries in the window and we have some ice cream and some cocktails and there's just like a lot happening, but it's not so busy that it's a chaotic method or that it's just too busy. There's a lot more like distinct things that you can pull from and I think this one is going to be super fun. I just want to verify that they were made at different manufacturers and they definitely are. So this one here is made in China. Um, this one here, the small batch. And then this one here is made in the Netherlands. So I'm very curious to see how they compare. And if you have done either of them, either style, please let me know your experience. Because again, I feel like it's been very, very mixed reviews as far as I can tell. Um, moving into some things I got the, at the puzzle library. So if you're new to the channel, I have a whole video about how I discovered this place. Um, it is local, so I'm not putting the address on here, um, but I just wanted to show you the puzzles that I got from the puzzle library. It's similar to like a regular library where you're just going, you're checking those things out, you bring them back, and you just, they have like a rotating cabinet. They had just changed this cabinet when I went there last time, so they had a whole bunch of new things to look at, and it was super exciting. So I ended up going home with four. I really use the puzzle library for smaller piece counts just because I want to have like more options for Instagram or just like having small piece counts on hand and I think they have some good options this time. This first one here is from a brand I've never done before and I honestly am not, I don't know, there's something about the packaging that just is not giving me like high hopes on quality but I do love the image. Like it's so bright, so colorful. So if you've done this brand, please let me know but it is from the brand Leviant, Leviant, Leviart. I'm sorry. Um, but this one is, this is a really bright, colorful puzzle. I don't know the name of it. It is nowhere on this box. Um, I don't know if it's a licensed product, but I don't know. Anyways, here's, here it is. It's super bright, very colorful. We just have like this like hilly scene with a bunch of different houses, lots of different patterns, lots of different color. Looks pretty easy, only 500 piece. I think this one is a good time. Again, never heard of the brand, but we will try it out. Um, this next one, Dave picked out. He was with me when I went over there the last time. And it's just super cute. It's only 550 pieces and it is called Paws Gone Wild. And it is adorable. I feel like I'm definitely getting into like, well, maybe it's my crazy cat lady phase, but I do enjoy some puzzles with cat or dogs the ones that aren't like so much fur or like a photograph like I like this style because there's some mischief going on um, so this one again paws gone wild we have a little doggy like looking in the window and then we have these kittens they're just having a grand old time we have one drinking tea we have some typewriting or using the typewriter um, this one looks like it's gonna fall down from these pile of books we have some cats ripping up paper like these cats are having a great time their owner may not be the happiest once they get back from, to their desk, but I think it's going to be a really fun one. It is by Seiko. Um, next up, we have a Ravensburger. It's only a 200 piece. I saw the image, I thought it was super cute, and I didn't think it would take me very long, so I picked it up. This one is called Pirates. I'm just going to cover the top of it so you don't see the library's address, but here we are. Um, it is just a really fun, little puzzle. We just have a couple of pirate ships. Looks like they're in some sort of battle and I like it. It's only again 200 pieces. This is their XXL line. I'm not sure how it differs from their jumbo line. Maybe it's even larger pieces um, but it's only for like eight-year-olds but you know I thought it would be really cute and then I have this one which is from Cobble Hill. It's been a while since I've done a Cobble Hill. This one is a 500 piece Looks really busy and chaotic, but I feel like I'm going to like it because there, there's enough color and variation in the windows. Anyways, it's called, uh, let's see, Home Sweet Home. Again, like the colors, 
feel like there's a lot of stuff to work from. Only 500 pieces is their random cuts, which I like. I know some people are hit or miss with Cobble Hill, but I, I've liked them in the past. So this one I think will be super fun. I'm not sure if it's like a new one from them, but I am excited to try them. Um, and then finally, we have a bunch of Ravensburgers to go over. Some I did purchase at the end of December, but had never really hauled it on my channel. I think there might be one that I may have mentioned in my week as a puzzler video, my puzzle vlog, because um, I purchased it on that video, but I thought I'd just bring it up here since I am showing you all these Ravensburgers. Um, so we have four here. Um, two I got at the Puzzle Warehouse and then two I got locally. The ones from Puzzle Warehouse, I also got two more, but I already did them, so I didn't mention them here, but I had done a uh, needlework station. Loved it. Loved it so much. You see my review on my latest January puzzle review video. And then I also did this one here, which I got at the same time. So that one is called Poke Bowl. Super fun. Um, and the reason, I'm, again, I'm getting these sizes for the Ravensburger puzzles is because I am just trying to do a little preparation before nationals. Do I think I will win? Absolutely not. May I get to finals? Maybe. I just don't want to be the worst person there. So I did get some to do and possibly pass along to my puzzle partner so she can get some practice in as well. So I have four here. The first one I know was in, I want to say it was part of Worlds last year. And this one is called London Postcard. I think this one is super cute. So very bright and very colorful. I feel like I have seen this one quite a lot online. A lot of colors. I feel like it might be a little bit tricky, but there's like a nice pattern and texture to the colors that I feel like once those areas are done, it might be pretty simple. I just, I'm just excited to try that one out. Um, this one I think will be super fun. This one is called Golden Solar System. And this one here, love this image. I normally don't do it too much as far as like galaxy puzzles, but I feel like there's a lot happening here that's not like all sky. Um, we have some suns and some like little dialy things and it just looks like a good time. So that one I thought would be fun. And then the two I got locally, we have this one here. This one is called uh, daydreams. Oh, Menu's Pond Daydreams. So this one here, a very fun, very bright, very colorful, lots of pink and green, um, but again, lots of different textures. I feel like this one might be the trickiest out of all of them, just because there's not too many other elements to work from. We have flowers, we have leaves, and we have fish, you know, so those are the elements, but again, only 500 pieces. I think it's very doable. And then finally, we have this one here I'm very excited about. This one is called The Music Room. Again, got locally and it's just super fun. We have a music room, lots of instruments. We have a kitty that is walking on a piano. We have some hot air balloons. It just, everything about this is screaming out to me. Um, except, oh, there is a saxophone. In case you're wondering, I'm a saxophone player. Um, lots of different instruments. I don't see a trombone. Oh, I do, it's over here, right in the back. So super fun. Um, I think it'll be a good time. So those are all the puzzles that came into my collection in January, aside from some that I've already talked about here on my channel. So I didn't want to bring them up again, but I thought you might be interested in what came into my home. And these are some that might be showing up soon in my Instagram if I do them. So make sure to follow me over there. But that's it for me. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And I would love to know anything that you are working on that you are really enjoying. And that's it for me. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.